Now let's talk about hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding, as we've said, is not an actual type of bond. It's a misnomer, which is it's misnamed. Uh, but uh, it does help to hold DNA molecules in their proper double helix. And so from that point, I understand why people use it. It does hold atoms in a general orientation. It is not a bond, though. We've got two examples of hydrogen bonds shown here. One between a fluorine on one molecule and a hydrogen on another molecule. One between oxygen and a hydrogen. The one that's not shown and we'll be showing in the examples is going to be one between a nitrogen and a hydrogen. And um, so the requirements for a hydrogen bond is that one of the molecules, we'll call it molecule one, needs to have a hydrogen atom covalently bonded to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. The other molecule needs to have a lone pair of electrons on an oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine atom. And then the question here says, can the following compounds form hydrogen bonds with another molecule of itself? If so, show two of the molecules with their Lewis structures and the formation of a, one, at least one hydrogen bond between them. Many of these will be able to form more than one, but you only have to show one. And so let's draw the Lewis structure for ammonia, NH3. It's right there. This molecule has both of the things that are required. Now let me draw another one, and I'm going to draw this one sideways. And the hydrogen bond is between drawn between the pair of electrons on a nitrogen, at what we call a lone pair, and the hydrogen. That is how we draw a hydrogen bond in this class. So we want to be super clear about it. Now I've done A, there's more that could form, but I've only done one. Let's do CH4 now. And CH4, well, let's start by drawing its Lewis structure. CH4 has, uh, does not have a hydrogen atom covalently bonded to an ONRF. or F. All of these hydrogens are covalently bonded to carbon. It does not have a lone pair of electrons on an oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. So no hydrogen bonds can form between this molecule and anything, let alone another molecule of itself. Now uh, I will let you do these two. They're schematically done up here as well, but I want you to do them with Lewis structures similar to what you see up here.